Right. Uh, Hooke's law states that uh, below elastic limit, the restoring force F in a spring is proportional to elongation X given by F equal to negative KX, while Newton's second law states that F equal to MA, where M is mass and A is acceleration. Determine the dimension and the SI base unit of the spring constant K. Okay, good. Now, first of all, we have two formula here. The Hooke's, this is the Hooke's law, F equal to negative KX. Another formula is uh, F equal to MA. Okay. And the question asks us to find um, the dimension S and SI base unit of the spring constant K. Okay. Uh, all right. So how to do these questions? So uh, this is this is Hooke's law. F equal to negative kx, this is Hooke's law, and F equal to ma is Newton's second law. Okay, uh, m is uh, we also need to know this. Uh, e x is elongation. Okay, x is an elongation, so it's something I like a like a length. Okay, like a length in meter. Okay, and uh, restoring force. F is a force. Okay, m is a mass. A is acceleration. Uh, okay, m is a mass. A is acceleration. So now, okay, we have two formula. Let's write out. We have f equal to negative kx and f equal to ma. We want to know what is the dimension and unit for uh, k. Uh, this is our target. We want to know this. Okay. So how, how to find the dimension of k? So what we, one can do is, uh, um, yeah, one thing to help us is, we know that dimension of uh, f will be equal to dimension of uh, negative kx. Similarly, dimension of f equal to dimension of ma. Uh, so what about uh, starting from here, getting the dimension of f out of ma? Okay, uh, let's do it. So, dimension of F will be equal to... Okay, let's look at this uh, mass and acceleration. Uh, let's identify the unit first. Identify the unit. The unit for mass will be kilogram. And then for acceleration, okay, A is an acceleration. Acceleration is meter... Per second square. Uh, okay, so from the unit we can translate to dimension. Uh, translate to dimension. So kg is mass. Mass is big M. Uh, dimension. Okay, and then uh, no, I just write here first. Okay. Okay. Now kg kg is big M. Meter is length. And then second is time. Ah, negative two. Okay. Uh, so this is the dimension of f. Uh, uh, dimension of f, the force. Uh, so we already got this. Uh, we just put it here. So uh, m l e negative two. Okay. And then equal to. Uh, we already got the dimension of f. Now we want to get the dimension of k. Dimension of negative, you know, uh, neg the dimension of negative is actually, you know, dimension or one thing to know is dimension of the negative one is actually one. Huh? There's no dimension. What I can say is uh, negative sign has no dimension. Okay, just put one. Uh, so uh, can put it as one. Dimension of the negative one is one, and dimension of k, dimension of k, that's what we want to we want to find, and dimension of x, x is a length, you know, elongation is a length, length is in meter, unit meter, so meter dimension will be l, uh, so x dimension is l. Okay, uh, x dimension is l. So now we can easily find the dimension of k. Uh, you can cut this at length and length off. And turn out the dimension of k will be 
the dimension of k will be uh, mt negative 2 mt negative 2 uh, that's the dimension of k the spring constant we already got a dimension okay uh, okay this is the dimension of k so now we want to find the si base unit of k how how are we going to find the unit of k so just write unit of the spring constant k will be equal to uh, just translate to unit just like uh, last time we translate from unit go to dimension uh, this time from dimension we also can translate to unit same thing okay so um uh, so mass e the m is a mass mass is kilogram and then t is a uh, time time has a unit second uh, okay so uh, that's the unit for k dimension of k unit of k quite easily done